Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're going to be diving into The Walking Dead Michonne. And you're probably wondering, okay Aaron, so what's The Walking Dead Michonne all about? And this game is basically like a little mini, little separate Walking Dead game. It's not about the Clementine story like we've seen in Season 1 and Season 2. It's its own little thing and it's about this character called Michonne. Um, about her friends and stuff, and obviously about her backstories with her children and stuff. That's all they know about it, but I'm intrigued to find out the full story and play through it all with you guys at home. And Asita's, so I brought the game, and I'm, I'm just looking forward to it. I just thought, since we've done Season 1 Season 2, I thought I'd try this one out, and hopefully you're all going to enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, guys. There are three episodes to this. There's episode one, Into the Deep, episode two, Give No Shelter, episode three, What We Deserve. So I've purchased them, I've installed them all on my PlayStation. And we're going to be trying out episode one here today on this video. And hopefully it's going to be an amazing storyline. I've heard from people it's really good, from friends of mine who have played it. But here it is, my friends. Episode one, Into Deep. And hopefully you're all going to enjoy it. I'm excited about this, guys. I, I love Walking Dead games. I literally, like, I'm a big fan of Telltale games. So it's like, I do love their story concepts that they do with their sorts of games. I've got literally loads of Telltale games. I've got things like the Gardens of the Galaxy games and stuff. Which I'm all going to be making videos on them in the near future. So you can look out for them on this channel, guys. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Just like how it is in the so other Walking Dead games. I loved behind. So many that I can hardly remember them all. But there are two. Just two that I can never forget. Is she okay? Okay, shut this bush. But they're not and done this with one. Me. <gasps> Whoa, that's creepy. They don't have eyes. What the hell? Yo, that was creepy. They don't have eyes. <laughs> Why is there a door in the middle of the wood? Okay, let's see what's inside here. Oh. Uh. Okay, we're in some like apartment building now. I'm guessing she's having like a bad dream or something, or having a flashback or something. That's what I'm getting, like getting at. Unless she's just losing the plot, I don't know. Stupid walker. Gotta take care of these walkers. That's one. That's two. Children are run off to the bedroom. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Tell you what, though, guys, this female character is like a freaking badass, like a fighting machine. It's like, come here, my friend. Give me back my sword so I can just stab this other guy with it. I like that. That's pretty cool. The one thing I would really love to see one day, and I think it would make such an awesome film, is that how Telltale Games, like, made these particular sort of styles, like Walking Dead games, I would love to see, like, a film version of this, but in the style that they've made the games, like the comic book versions of the games. So I think that'd be really cool. They did like a similar sort of thing uh, with the Resident Evil. Um, they did like, is it Resident Evil Damnation or something? Which was really cool. It was like game inspirated. But it would be really cool if they could like have one made just about The Walking Dead. So I think that'd be really cool. Let me know down below in the comment section. Would you like to see like a style animated film? about The Walking Dead and the concept artwork of how The Walking Dead games are. Like, I would love to see that. I think it'd be so good. But it's a shame that Telltale games aren't around now. Because I did hear a little while back they did go bust. Like, the, the studio got shut down, which was kind of a shame, to be honest, guys. I remember when I first heard about the news, I was... I was gutted, because they make such amazing games. But I'm still going to play the games on my channel, guys. I'm still going to play them, because... They're just amazing. They've got amazing storylines. So many walkers and everything. Please don't do what I think you're gonna do. Some days I envy the dead. No, 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 no. We're not doing this. Lower the gun. Lower the gun. Don't want to make that stupid mistake. Hmm. Who's this guy? Is that like a boyfriend or something? Oh, I'm loving the soundtrack. The soundtrack's pretty cool. I like it. I like that soundtrack. I want that soundtrack. I'm going to have to get, I'm going to go online in a bit, guys, and find out what the name of this soundtrack is. And if it's available on Spotify, I'm going to download it. It's really catchy. I love really catchy music. So, I like that. Episode 1, In Too Deep. Let me know what you think of the intro of this episode so far. Like, do you think it was pretty good, guys? Like, I want to know more about this woman and why we saw them kids with no eyes and stuff. But hopefully we'll find out some answers soon. Having a dream or something? Fuck. Can't sleep anyway.
Rashid, come in. Over. Vanessa, you there? God damn it. Hey, Pete. Michonne, what are you doing up? Your shift isn't for another hour. Couldn't sleep. Having those nightmares again. You holding up okay? I worry about you. You're not the easiest to read. Things are getting better. Slowly. You're not gonna recover overnight. These things take time. Just please tell me if, you know, if it gets as bad as it did. Okay, so this woman's name is Michonne. So this is the character that we were playing as. And that guy who we saw at the end of the cutscene at the beginning Whoa. is Pete. Whoa. Whoa. Get down That's here. Oak. Michonne's taking your ship. Two minutes! I still haven't heard from Rashid. <laughs> I need to learn all these characters' names. It's not like those guys. It's gonna probably take a little while to sink in a little bit. We trade every time I come through. Same spot. Everything's just gone. It just doesn't make sense. Their boat is always anchored right on the dock. You'll find them. We'll find them. Hope you're right. Maybe we can pass by again on our way back. Listen. You hear it? You hear it, right? Sounds like a woman's voice. Vanessa, that you? I think I hear something, yeah. Hard to make out, though. Hey. Michonne? Uh, again with the short wave? I'm not just giving up. This bay was full of boats just a year ago. They went somewhere. If they left, it was probably for good reason. Then I want to know why. <sighs> Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? You heard it that time, right? That sounded, that said, sounded like hell. I don't know, Pete. Didn't sound like Vanessa. But it's someone. She might know what happened here. No, damn it! We're losing the signal. Look, if we don't start caring about the people that are out there, we're no better than the damn walkers. <coughs> All we'll find out there is trouble, Pete. I mean it. What's the point in just surviving? We gotta let's do help. better than that. All right, so let's help her. At least someone gets it. You're the only one on this boat that even comes close to understanding. Not Berto. Not Sadiq. Especially not fucking Oak. Okay, you know so there are Berto, Sadiq, Pete, Take Michonne, over. and Oak. Okay. Turn the boat around. So I've got quite a few names there to try and remember now. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can get a signal or something. Are you in danger? Hello? Hmm. Anything? I heard her. Barely. I knew it. Oh, this is a bad idea, Pete. You want to find more people. You're forgetting what people are like. What did she do? Everyone okay? Berto! Sadiq! You guys better get up here! What do oh we hear? What's up and now? I can't see a damn thing! Berto! Hold the wheel steady! Take in those sails! Yeah! Oh no, 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 no. Sadiq! Get down! Are you 
all right? Thanks for the save. You're welcome. Jesus! Oh, get the jib under control. That damn short way. You just had to take your seat close. Right into a. That guy there with the brownish hair and the big brownish beard. That's a deke, I guess. Any rocks here. Well, then what the hell was that? Something else. You said it yourself. Something's going on around here. This place isn't safe anymore, Pete. Your friends are gone, and whatever scared them off is going to find us next. I told you this was a bad idea. You're just being paranoid. It's not paranoia if you're right. Stop. We need to free the boat. That's our priority. She's right. All this talk isn't doing anything to get us out of here. That girl on the shortwave. What if she's part of it? Guys, pull it together. Oak, Sadiq, get those sails tied down. Once we've checked for damage, we can haul off. Ease our way out. Go on. Show. What exactly did she say? She sounded young and scared. I doubt she's a threat. Michonne, take these. See if you can figure out what we got stuck on. Just see if we're close to anything. I mean, I need to know what our options are. We just need to get ourselves moving again. For all our sakes. Okie dokie, I'm on it. So let's do a little bit of exploring and see what's going on. It's not like I can see anything in this direction. It's too dark to see much of anything. Use the flashlight. There it is. Hey, Pete. Figured out what we're stuck on. Damn. At least it's not Rashid's boat. Hey, Michelle. Hope no one's still on that boat. I don't want to die like that. Sorry. I just seen a lot of bad shit go down. I just It's understandable. I don't want to see this fall apart, you know? I've seen better places than this get torn to shreds. It's not gonna fall apart. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't let him see me slacking off like this. That's Berto. Okay. So we've met we saved Sadiq. That's Berto. So, he's now going to go to understand who the characters are. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. Hmm. See if we can see anything over here. There's a flashlight. Plants here and everything. The rice. Right, let's see what Sadiq is doing. Hey, Michonne, we could use a hand here. Maybe we gotta bleed the wind out of this sail. I stand by what I said. Pete isn't cautious enough. Look, he's just an optimist. You call it what you like, but we shouldn't be trying to find people. We should be staying the hell away from them. Look where we are. You think this is an accident? Damn wind. Pete's captain of this damn boat. Show some respect. Hey, I respect the hell out of Pete. That doesn't mean I can't see when he's lost his way. <laughs> oh, you think you've got it all figured out, don't you? <laughs> Thanks. So we can think of it. Should be okay now. Hopefully. The shoreline. Well, 
What's that? <coughs> I do apologize as well, guys, if I uh, keep coughing every now and then. I've got a little bit of a croaky throat at the moment. So... You see anything out there? Hopefully it goes soon, but I just want to apologize in advance in case I start coughing up every five seconds. Be worth checking out. You know, extra parts, maybe some food. It's always a good mm. idea. Alright. I think what we should do is go in and report to Pete. Just let me know that we just seen a shoreline. Yo, bro. P. Find anything? Saw a ferry. Maroon near the shore. A ferry? Didn't see a ferry last time I was here. Tiller lever shot. Snapped in two. The what? Tiller lever. Connects the wheel to the... Look, I don't know shit about boats. Just tell me what you need. Might have what we need to fix this damn thing. It's the best option we got. Hmm. Sounds Let's good to, to me. The ferry. I don't want to be stuck here any longer than we have to be. Can't argue with that. Maybe we can find some sign of a sheath group. Let's round up the crew. Michonne and I will scout the ferry, see what we can find. All right, so we're just gonna sit around and wait for you. You wish. You've got work to do. You didn't answer my question, though. <sighs> Christ, Shut up in this bad boy. Guys, you three, catch the boat, pull her out of here, and lay anchor near the shoreline. Got it. Don't go anywhere. Stay near the boat and keep her safe. Never know when we're gonna need that machete. Especially when it comes to the walkers or anything. But hopefully we won't come across any. Hopefully we can just get to the ferry, oh, get what we need, mission. and get back. Forget his friends, right? Best get the parts and get back here. We'll get what we need and get out. That's the plan. Good. Come on. Let's get going. Always. So hopefully you're enjoying the episode so far guys. If you are then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Hopefully you're all enjoying it. So far it's pretty interesting. We learned some of the characters. And now we're going to investigate this ferry and see what's going on on this ferry. And hopefully we can find the things that we need. But if you are enjoying it, like I said, sure smash the thumbs up button here, huh? and subscribe if you're new and turn on the post notification nice. icon, okay? Probably a good sign. Trouble usually isn't quiet. I suppose that makes you the exception. <laughs> Bodies in the water? You know, something's really been bothering me. And I have to ask. What? Do you think this looks dumb? Oh, what? I don't know. Oak's been giving me shit about it. Says I look like a pirate. Hmm. What do you think? Be honest. Oh, fuck Oak. What does he know? <laughs> I knew you were all right. I think it ties the look together. <sighs> you I'd get you to loosen up sooner or later. You're always so serious. It's got to be exhausting. I'm sure you have your reasons. Just makes it hard to get to know people. Not much to laugh about these days. <laughs> Not that it ever stopped you. Being grim about it, does that make it all okay? You know, when we first brought you on board, never thought you'd decide to stick around. You didn't talk to anybody, I just assumed you'd take off the minute you got your strength back. And I keep expecting to wake up and find this dinghy gone, and you with it. But, here you are. What can I say? You're not terrible company. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> when we met, you were a 
I mean, I saw what you were about to do. You haven't had it easy out there. I know you mostly keep it to yourself. I don't want to make you talk about it. Not unless you want to. Being out on the water, keeping busy. It helps. If I stop even for a minute, it starts to catch up to me again. When things are quiet, I end up thinking too much. Hmm. You know, before this, I was just on my own, like you were. I convinced myself I liked it that way. But after a while, I just... Whoa! We've got walkers. We got quite a few of them in the water. Zombie's been taken care of. Oh, that walker's been taken care of. I'm sorry. Keep forgetting the R walkers in this game. Even though they are zombies, but that's one of them, mate. You guys know what I mean. Twice you saved my life. Hmm. Well, that's what good crew members do. They stick together. So I'm guessing the story behind Michonne is that I'm guessing she was on that island, which we saw at the beginning. I, like I reckon this. she was going to end her life because of be some bad things that happened in the past, went. probably related to them children. No I don't know if they're their sisters or daughters or something. I'm assuming, could be and I'm guessing that Pete found her, really brought her on board, well, and that's how they built a level. connection with each other. Looks and like I'm guessing Pete did a similar sort of thing with the other characters like Sadiq Looks and stuff. Abandoned. That's what I'm getting at, but I'm not 100% sure. If you guys know the story to this, we'll let me know down below in the comment right, section, so okay? Just then I know. Looks like there's two ways in. The ladder or the window. I'm thinking we should go with the ladder, personally, because windows, with it being on a, on that floor, I'm assuming zombies, like, I mean, walkers could probably climb up and get through that. If you're up a ladder, I don't think they're going to climb up a ladder. I don't think zombies are smart enough to climb ladders. All right. Let's hope this thing holds. Come on. Don't fall. Thanks. Oh, no, no, no. Right, we need to move quicker. Otherwise, we're going to become walker's food. I got you, I got you. And this is why I'm glad we didn't go for the window. <laughs>
Seems like this place was someone's home for a while. Do you think your friends came through here? It's hard to be sure. We should look around. It's always a good idea. We should investigate our surroundings. But no, no, we might find some things we need for the boat. But at the moment inside my inventory, I've got a flashlight, I've got binoculars, and I've got my machete. So, let's see what else we can find. Nothing but a hunk of old metal. Hmm. It might come useful, though. No, no, we might need to smack it across someone's head or something. Got a bench here in case we want to sit down. <clears throat> um, got a door here. Got a map. The mob jack. We'll find something down there. We'll have to go through the cafe to get to the stairs. You're just looking for Mr. Honeybars. Always. Hmm. All right, let's get this door open. Locked. If one of us can get serious? our hands through here, maybe we can unlock it. Tell you what. No. It's a crowbar. Nice. Can't see any walkers or anything on there. You always have to check before you do these sorts of things. Just in case a zombie's on the other side of the door and bites my arm off. Doesn't mean there's nothing there, though. No. The question is... Which one of us wants to reach in there to open it? One of us has to do it, right? I'll do it. Well, here goes nothing. Be careful. Oh, there is a walker behind that door. Or something's behind that door. Need some help, Pete. Ready when you are. That's not a good sign if there's blood all over the floor. Unless someone went around killing loads of walkers, then fair enough, but something was behind that door. So I don't know if it was a walker being tied up or something, or injured or something, what I don't know. Oh god. These aren't your That's friends. That's just disgusting. No, no. They don't Why are they like tied up? Wonder what happened to them. Whoever did this made sure they wouldn't come back. Their wrists are zip tied. They couldn't fight back. These people hadn't turned. They were executed. Jesus. Who would do that, though? I can understand oh, if there were walkers, but who would kill them? Having, to, having them tied up and then shot them. Who would do that? And Rashid were here. If they left this behind, Michelle, Michonne, you okay? You've got that look. Same look you had when. I'm fine. You don't look fine. All right. I'm guessing. Do you know them little girls we saw at the beginning? I'm guessing they were her children. It's the same sort of voices from the intro. I gotta hope they're still alive. That they made it off this thing. Let's 
There's definitely something down there. Let's go down and investigate. Look at all these bodies. Oh my god. If we're gonna find anything in this boat, it'll be in here. Why is there a walkers like tied to the door? This makes no sense. Stand up. The execution of those people it was done to that poor man. Who the fuck could have done that? It wasn't war. It wasn't even self-defense. It's just sick. Focus on finding the girl. Then we can worry about who did this. You're right. Just disgusting, you know what I mean? Killing innocent people by having them tied up and shot or tied up to things. It's disgusting. And if the walker's fair enough, but they're not. That's probably the only walker there at the moment. What do you see? Got a bag a in there? Bag. Looks like it's in good shape. Any sign of people? I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. Got ammo and everything nice. But left this makes no sense. I know, but damn, we could really use this stuff. Bunch of medicine. Some medication. Where'd all this stuff come from? Plenty ammo. Of ammunition. And peaches. Oh my god. Canned food. Mary Lily's peaches and beans. God, I used to have these three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Drove my mom crazy. Cigarettes. Cigarettes. Don't show those to Berto. We finally just got him to quit. <laughs> we should see what else we can find. Well, let's scavenge the area, because we never know. I'm just confused on why someone would leave a big duffel bag full of stuff there just on the desk. Unless they got killed. You know what I mean? So. Who knows? This game holds a lot of mystery at the moment. Locked. Um, let's have a little look around here. Got the vending machine? Let's kick it. Candy bars are just gonna magically pour out of there. Hey, never hurts to try. <laughs> you can tell it's an American game because the fact that they label, you know, things as candy bars. Because here in the UK we call them like uh, chocolate bars or sweets and stuff. But in different places, you know, they get called by different things. Never know when you're gonna find another one of these. Put that in the duffel bag. Is there anything else we can pick up? What's this? Oak will love these. What 
the hell? Whoever's in there, come on out. Why are you in the water there? Greg! What's going on? Easy. Who the hell are you people? Who are you? Look, kid, just tell me. Now! I'm Michonne, and that's Pete. We're just passing through. Yeah, sure you are. That bag belongs to us. So step aside, all right? Well, I'll just chill out. Don't be stupid. I don't want to do this. But we need that stuff. So just back up. We get it, okay? Some of our stuff is in there. Let us take it and not gonna happen. Whoa. Hold on. Right, let's get rid of these walkers. I got button combinations. Smash him across the air with a cash register. <laughs> That's just pure savageness. Yo. Hey. Where's this woman? Forward. Randall. Shit. Who? Okay, Looks who's the like hell is this guy? Thieves. Nice job. You. Man, you got to be kidding me. And you've got help this time. Interesting. Thought you were a solo act. We are with her. We're not with her. What? We didn't have anything to do with this. This is a misunderstanding. Not sure I believe you. Damn. I know Sam here didn't do all this. Get them all onto the boat. Be careful. These new ones aren't fucking around. We'll take them to Norma. Who? This is other, another character to learn. Who the hell's Norma? Shoot him. Hang on. They just zip. They just zip tied my characters. Are these the people who? I don't know. Maybe these are the people who did that to the other people. Who knows? I don't know, guys. Machete. Any bites, rashes, coughing? No, they're clean. You know we're gonna need those weapons back. Don't worry. You'll get them back. Once we've cleared all this Bullshit. up. Bullshit. Watch it, girl. You're in deep enough already. You know, if I had my way, I'd just dump you over the side. See how well you swim with your hands tied behind your back. Guy right. might talk to me. Norman's Maybe I can get him to listen to reason. Doing. Lucky she's he doesn't to seem stop. like the most reasonable Listen, I know guy. we can work something huh? out. Is I talking to you? Might be worth the shot. Let me do the talking. Hey, cut the chatter. You speak when spoken to, understand? All right. You. We'll start with you. What's your name? It's okay. You can tell me. My name's Michonne. Randall. Now that the, uh, 
Pleasant right, so he's Randall. Behind us. Let's talk about what you did. We didn't take anything from you. Shut your mouth. I'm talking to your cohort. Bet we're not the only ones you've stolen from. I didn't steal shit from you. We just found that bag. She's probably the one who took it. I wasn't talking to you. Let's see here. Nice machete. You handle those walkers back there. How are you against something that can actually fight back? It's plenty sharp. You take good care of this blade. I'm damn good. I'll bet. Weapon like this, you gotta be comfortable getting in close. Getting messy. You know, every person we find living, they got some dead with them. Hmm. Who was it for you, I wonder? Mother? Father? A couple sisters, maybe? Not kids. You? <laughs> Oh, man, I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years. So you, you got nothing left to lose. No wonder you're all stoic and shit. But hell, we all lose people. You better back the fuck off. Woo, sounds like I hit a nerve. <laughs> but don't feel bad. I'm a lot like you. No shame in that. Well, looks like our character hates this guy already. It's like a little island based off boats. <laughs> Doubt you got a good look last time you were here. Too busy stealing from us to appreciate our little community. Bet you never gave them a second thought. Folks, you fucked over. It wasn't us. What was that? We haven't been here before. Save it for Norma. My sister. She's the one in charge here. She'll be just okay. thrilled to see you. So we met Randall now, and we're going to be meeting this Norma. It's mad how they think that we're thieves, though, because we just turned up there, and next thing you know, we're being brought here. Zachary, thank God. You hurt? I'm fine, Jonas. I'm fine. Here, I found your missing medicine. Thanks. I'll uh get this back to the sick bay. Hey, your job's not done yet. Come on. Randall, what's all this? I hoped I'd never see you again, Samantha. Norma, I not a word. Not from you. Found them on the ferry, along with this. That one there. Michonne? She's the one to watch out for. That true? You dangerous? You don't believe me? I've never been wrong about something like this. I think she's more than capable of speaking for herself, Randall. You're calling me dangerous? Who's the one that threatened us? Tied us up? I do apologize if my brothers treated you poorly. Randall, escort these ladies to the storeroom. Find somewhere comfortable for the other two. What? That's my brother! Come on. You got this under I'm control? I'm just wondering what Samantha and her brother were doing on the ferry in the first place. Sam, and if they actually did steal anything okay. or not. Get moving. It's just all these names to learn, though, guys. You got Norma, Randall, Sam, Greg, which is obviously Sam's brother. Ooh. 
so many names, but we'll get there with them. We'll get there. I'm hoping that you're all enjoying the episode so far, guys. If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, okay? I would really, really appreciate it. What about Greg? Looks a bit empty, doesn't it? Like something's missing. Luckily, my sister's good at getting answers. She'll find out what you did with the rest of it. And if she doesn't, the two of us are going to have ourselves a talk. I'm not going to let you do this. Keep an eye on her. She's got a knack for starting trouble. If anything goes down, and I'm blaming you. <laughs> and you don't want that. Trust me. Maybe I'll let her cause trouble. Then what? Then you're stuck with the consequences. And I'm pretty sure you won't like those. <laughs> There's a proper douchebag this Randall guy is. That's, uh, probably. Kind of reminds me of Carver from um, season two. Oh, get out of here. They're gonna hurt Greg. These people. You don't know what they're capable of. I'm worried about Pete too. Okay. Should have never involved my brother in this, and, and now you. Um... Who knows what they're gonna do to him? Is Norma right? Did you steal the supplies? Well, I didn't steal the duffel bag, if that's what you're asking. This is my fault. I'm so sorry. I... I was just trying to protect my family. That, that's all. I never thought they'd go back to the ferry. I didn't know. It's not gonna be okay. What the hell is going on here? I just wanted to use the radio to, to reach people. I never expected that Randall will show up there. Not after... After what? The ties are too tight. You see anything we can cut him with? Anything with a sharp edge. Someone really loves their cigs. Same brand that was in the duffel. Uh, never be able to slip my hand out. Mob Jack. It's the name of the ferry. These must have come from there. Hmm. Little duffel bags. Something else we can interact with. Alright, Sam, I need you to talk. Hey, Sam. Are you looking? We gotta find something. There's nothing we can really use to be fair. Kits. This used to be full. How should I know? This is why there was nothing left on that ferry. It's all here. Kids' toys. Oh, they were the toys that were on the uh, in the intro in the hotel room underneath the sofa. Is that thing we can interact with? Whoa! She was hallucinating. I'm guessing them children she keeps seeing are uh, kids. Because obviously Randolph kind of spilled the beans a little bit. Come and obviously on. must have hit one of Michonne's nerves. So I'm guessing she might have lost the children or something. Or maybe they died or got attacked by walkers or something. You saw those bodies back at the ferry? That was another group. We traded with them sometimes. 
Randall killed them all. Everyone. Even the kids. Came with his whole crew. And he just... murdered them. They were trying to run away. How do you know? Did you see it happen? We were on a supply run. We heard gunshots and screams. We tried to look for survivors, but... And they took what was left. That's why this stuff is here. That's what they do. They think they own everything on the water. Whatever they find, they take. And if you put up a fight... Well, you know what happens. They tie you up and kill you. They just... It's nothing to them. I saw what Randall did. Now do you get it? If there's anyone out there that you care about, don't tell these people a thing. Someone's coming back. The pipe's Over loose. itchy ears, then, guys. A little more and I can get free. We have to get out of here. Think about what you're doing. We need a plan. Uh, this is my plan. This is our chance. Whoever comes through that door, we jump them. We can do this together. It's now or never. What's it gonna be? Worth a shot. Let's do it. Quiet down here. Here I was, ready for a fight. Nice work. <laughs> Kept it together. I'm a... <laughs> Oh, damn it. I knew you were dangerous. Come on, Norma wants a word. <laughs> I hope Sam's going to be okay, but to be honest, though, that Randolph guy deserves it. It's a proper douchebag. And just think if we weren't tied up, we probably would have killed him, but you know. Lucky for him, he were zip tied. So, Michonne. That's a great name, Norma. <laughs> I always wanted to be a Veronica or Gwendolyn when I was a girl, but I've made my peace with it, I suppose. You're lucky, though. You got a name people remember. Michonne. <laughs> Damn, that's good. A nice, strong name. Norma's not so bad. Eh, who knows? It's a new world. Maybe the name will make a comeback. I'm sorry about all this, but I just want to talk, that's all. Then you mind taking these off? Sure. Once I get to know you better. I know you're angry, but try to consider things from my perspective okay everything points to you stealing from me from my people that puts you and I on opposite sides of the fence if that's not how you see it enlighten me help me understand if all goes well I'd be happy to remove them for you you want to know me let's talk that's what I like to hear. You're gonna help me get to the bottom of things. You do that, and you get to go home. Go on. Consider it a peace offering. Okay. There you go. So tell me, you and Samantha, how long you all been together? I haven't seen you before. Then you might have been lying low. I just met Sam today. Really? And what brought you to that ferry? 
Seems awfully strange you just stumble on it out there in the middle of the water. It's just a little difficult to wrap my head around. You all ending up there together at the exact same time. Pete and I picked up a signal on the shortwave. It was coming from the ferry. Hey, Zachary. Yeah. Get Janie to take a crew on down to the mob jack. See if anyone else picked up on this signal. Bring anyone they find back here. They need help, we'll take care of them. So how about your group? Are there others? I need to know who's with you. Can act on incomplete information. There are more of us out there. Figured as much. Don't run into that many small groups these days. I know how this whole thing must look to you. I get it. But there's more to this than you realize. Okay. Since you just met, there's something you should know about Samantha. That girl is a natural born liar. She's good. I'll bet she laid it on thick for you. Said it was all her fault. She's sorry, and won't you please help her escape big bad Norma? Am I getting warm? Wouldn't be the first time she fed that line to somebody. She hasn't said hmm. anything like that. She will. She's lied to us before. Stolen from us before. You can see why I might be just a tad frustrated. I mean, I let her go. No consequences. And now she's stealing from me again. She's just a kid. She's just a kid. Too young to know any better. <laughs> yeah. Looks like she fooled you, too. There's a fine line between being generous and being taken advantage of. Everyone deserves a second chance, I believe that. But never a third. Most people will take advantage if you let them. What about those people on the ferry? Children, whole families, executed. How many chances did they get? No, we didn't do that. Scavengers killed those children, their families, everyone. Then they took over. So Randall went down there, gave those murderers justice, made sure they'd never kill again. That's what we do here, protect people. I bring folks in, see that they're fed, clothed, looked after. What about what you take from them? The salvage? We need the same things anybody does. We pool our resources, we survive. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. Maybe I haven't been clear. The only reason you're still sitting here is because I've decided to let you tell me your side of things. I suggest you stop fucking around. Otherwise, this is gonna stop being so pleasant. Don't mistake my kindness for stupidity. You don't want to threaten me. No, I don't. But you've put me in a difficult position. Hmm. Last question. Where's the rest of my shit? You say you weren't with those kids, but Randall caught you with them. You had this, but there's still much more missing. So, where is the rest of it? Bullets, and ammunition, handguns, and a couple of rifles. All missing. It's probably on the ferry. Mm -mm. Zachary and Cam already did a sweep of the ferry, and they didn't find a thing. Where is it? I told you. Bring in the kid. What, what, what do you do it? Here's how really? this is gonna work. I know he's not gonna talk. <clears throat> his sisters probably fill his head with all kinds of stories. So you'll be asking the questions. Let go of me! I guess being a pain in the ass runs in the family. <laughs> Greg, is it? We're just gonna do a little fact checking. Greg, 
See if your story squares up. There's no way I'm talking to you after what your brother did. <laughs> Shit, Randall! Fuck you! You want another one? Randall! Come on now. Michonne, mind asking Greg what I asked you? Go on now. Ask him. How long have we been together? A, uh, long time. We're all family friends. Hmm. That's not how Michonne told it. She said you just met. Someone's full of shit. He's just scared. Leave him be. The kid's a liar. Oh! Hey! Okay. Let's try again. Michonne? The one about your people. You remember, don't you? Ask him yourself. How many of you are there? It, it, it's just us. Uh, us four. Well, that's disappointing. She said there were more of you. Randall, oh, go! Please, I'll tell you whatever you want! Aim that at me. I dare you. How about I just shoot him? Randall, uh. you made your point. Ugh. Get a towel, Zachary. Leave him alone, okay? He's just a kid. Throw him a pity party when we're done. Get the fucking towel. Guys just picked all these pants. He's lying again. Try to be kind. Try to extend my goddamn hospitality. Go fuck yourself. Please, okay, this isn't working. You're not gonna get what you want this what way. What would you fucking suggest? A pat on the head and a lollipop? He's got a point, Randall. You took it too far. Like you always do. People need a firm hand. You're not gonna get them in line by being soft. Now, being smart isn't the same as being soft, Randall. We're not gonna get what we need your way. Zachary and I will figure this out. You go below and get the other fellow. You make quite the pair of liars. Hmm. This world just depresses the hell out of me. Zachary, a word in private. Are you okay? What do you think? You get the hell out of here. Are they done with That's us? That's what I think. Or is it gonna get worse? My guess is... It's gonna get worse. Keep it together, Gotta keep Greg. things together. What do you think I'm doing? Even if it didn't look like it. I can't believe I pissed myself. Seriously. My little brothers could see me now. I've never done that before. Never. <laughs> I'm not like that. Afraid. I won't tell us all. Just be careful. I'm not gonna careful. tell anyone what happened here. Appreciate it. But pretty sure the smell's gonna give it away. Ugh. I knew about the rotters. I mean, I fought them before, killed them. It's bad. But people are worse, aren't they? <laughs> I didn't know it was this bad. They know what they're doing. They just don't care. Not everyone is like these people. I've met others. Folks who don't kill unless they have to. I wish they were here. I don't know. Me too. Thing is, is I, I say that about people, but people, family, they're the only reason to live. That's true. What if you don't even have that? I left them behind. My daughters. I didn't know. You lie to yourself to live, so you keep going. But when you stop.
she left them so, behind. Hmm. What did they do to you? Just ask questions. Hey, is Sam? I haven't seen her. <sighs> Shit. How are we playing this? Yeah, Michonne. How are we playing this? I'm all ears. Any day now. Really? No matter what, they're gonna hurt you. That's the least helpful advice I've ever heard. Take care of this. Come on. Zachary? I just have a few questions. <laughs> Hopefully Pete's gonna be okay. I know just where to put you. Oh, what the hell? Jonas! Haven't you got a patient that needs you? No, you can't just barge Jonas. in here! See, not everyone here lives in squalor. Jonas and Zachary had the nicest room on the ship. The good doctor deserves it. Gosh, he just works so hard. What does it you do, Zachary? Huh? Besides fuck Jonas. Okay, fine, Randall, well, let's right. just... You do nothing. You cower and you whine because you don't have the balls to do things that need doing around here. This is how you treat your own people? Only when they need it. Look, whatever you're gonna do, Randall... No, I'm not gonna do shit. Your fucking uselessness stops now. Time to earn your key. Here. Go on. Get them talking. Well, where, where are the rest of the supplies? The bags with the ammo. Hey, you shouldn't keep your finger on the trigger. Don't tell me how to hold a fucking gun. I don't know, Zachary. Maybe she does know better than you. Please, no one has to get hurt here. I'm just trying to help you. Okay, then talk. I don't think she's taking you very seriously. Come on! I need a location. Now! That's it. Careful. Don't get too close to her now. Please. We all need to calm down. Get the gun out of my face. Hey! Who's in charge here? You or her? Huh? You want answers? Talk to me! <laughs> Stop! Don't move! Sam! Greg, don't! It's okay. You think this is okay? Tell Randall to leave. Then we can talk all you want, okay? Last chance, Zachary! Fucking do something! Stop! <laughs> Damn it, Zachary! Now who's taking things too what? far? I did Outside! I now! <sighs> No, oh no, no, Greg. Sam. Greg? I can't! Oh, we have to get out of these! We have to oh help my them! God. <sighs> One character oh, dead already. Greg. Not near enough. I can't. Hopefully he's going to get out of this. Come on, Greg. You're strong enough. Get out of these zip ties. Please. We need to lay him down. Come on, bro. You're gonna get you through this, okay? It's gonna be okay, Greg. We don't want you dying on us. Come on. We don't need any deaths, not in episode one. I wanna try to keep people alive this time. Come on. Come on, don't do this. Please, don't do this. Think of, think of Alex. You're his hero. What will he do without you? Not a, not a very good hero. No, you are. You are, Greg. Please hang on. Come on, bro. We can get through this. 
Oh, He's gone. No. <laughs> He's going to turn, Sam. She just lost her brother. He's gonna... He's gonna become one of them. It happens fast. We don't have a lot of time. Oh, God. I'm gonna need your help. I can't. I can't. I just need another second, please. I can't. I can't let you go yet. Greg. Greg. I love you. We have to kill him. We need to take care of this. End it. I can't. I just need more time. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Sam, but I'm going to have to do this. Hold him down. Sorry, bro, but we need to do this. No. I'm so sorry, Sam, but we had to do that. It's bad enough that our brothers just died, but we've just had to cave his freaking head in. You know what I mean? Don't say it's going to turn on me and try and shoot me. What's going to happen? Come on. Oh, they have to leave it on the cliffhanger. Damn it. I want to see what's going to happen. So there we go, my friends. That was episode one in too deep of The Walking Dead Michonne. I see it's been a very eventful episode. We've learned a lot about the story. <clears throat> and the seaters. We've got, we've got to know a good cast of characters. We've experienced our first death in it now, which is obviously Sam's brother dying. And then he turned and we had to just cave his head in. He got left on the cliffhanger. And to be honest, I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen in the remaining two episodes. Like, I've got a feeling this is going to be a good story. But if you enjoyed it, that's all that matters, guys. If you did, 
give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more on it. And I'll see you, I'll see you again next time on another brand new video. Take care and hope you all have a marvellous day.